Um, my name is Dee Stat, and I am the licensing director for Nike Incorporated. Um, you know, my colleague Kara Hegman and I are just honored to be here today. This is um, a great day for the University of Kentucky, but it's an even greater day for, for Nike to be a part of this. You know, um, so thank you very much for having us here. Uh, I want to start out a little bit by uh, just thanking our friends here at the University of Kentucky. As Coach said, we've had a long-standing relationship and really a partnership that we call it that's like um, no other. We um, absolutely believe in two things at Nike, and that is inspiration, inspiration provided by great brands that we have the luxury of working with, as well as um, in innovation in terms of the technology that we provide our athletes that they can perform better on the field of play in whatever sport that they have to be playing. So today we're going to talk about um, both of those um, attributes in terms of the uniform. Um, you know, when we think about the partnership that we have here, as I said, um, this is a really great example of what happens when two brands come together to reach a common goal. And that's what we set out to do here with the University of Kentucky and the, and the uniforms. So we call this uniform the Nike Pro Combat System of Dress. And I'll talk a little bit about um, why that name, and then I'll also um, talk a little bit about the innovation behind the uniform. But first of all, I want to start out by talking about um, the inspiration. And uh, when we think about what inspires a designer, really inspiration for a design can come from all forms and all walks of life. Um, but three significant things that we looked at when we um, started to really think about um, curating and designing this uniform in particular. Um, a couple of moments in time that were pretty significant points in time that we looked at and, and looked at in great depth. Um, the first one happened last season um, in the great comeback win against 10th um, ranked South Carolina. And that was the epitome to, to us at Nike in terms of just collaboration, um, teamwork, uh, how the game of football has changed. And we really looked at that as a sort of a starting point in terms of, I love the, the slogan of Rise, because we looked at that like the future of football. At Nike, when we're designing a uniform, we always, we use this mantra, and it is to respect the past, but represent the future. And we thought that that game was a great point in time to focus on respecting the past, the great athletic tradition of Kentucky, but also looking about the future. And, and that's where the, the term Rise, the, the slogan that we love. So that was one point. Um, I just want to read a quote, because this, this quote to us was really synonymous of where we were going and why we thought that this was such a significant point. And we took this quote from Randy Cobb. He said that we never lost faith. We never for one second thought that we were going to lose that game. We've had struggles at times, but we found a way to win. What a great quote. So that is very symbolic to us of where we're trying to take this uniform based on the inspiration behind the great athleticism of, of Kentucky. The second moment in time that we looked at was the national championship season in 1950, a team that was coached by Bear Bryant. When you look at that team, and when you look at that uniform, more importantly, to us, it represented sort of a classic looking uniform, um, very, very clean lines, um, good detail in the uniform. So you sort of take that classic nature of that, um, the, the work ethic of that team into that uniform, coupled with what we were just talking about in terms of the South Carolina comeback win, then you start to really get a sense of what we're trying to achieve in this uniform and what attributes more important that we're going to take away from those two significant moments. And then lastly, as Coach mentioned, um, and I do want to point this out here, is my mic on? Is my mic on? Um, the other significant point that we want to point out here, if we can just turn around here, is again the, the, the great um, nod that we have here to Secretariat, right? When you think again about Lexington and Lexington, Kentucky, obviously you think about two things. You think about the University of Kentucky first and foremost, but then you also think about Secretariat and the great athleticism um, that that course represented. And you know, one of the things it said about Secretariat is that Secretariat had great heart. So we thought that heart represented a lot of what we were talking about with the University of Kentucky and the football team from last season. So great, um, a great nod from a historical standpoint to the silks that Secretariat wore um, when he raced. So if you notice from a branding perspective, it's the same sort of look that we infused and put into our basketball uniform <coughs> from the University of Kentucky three, three years ago. So you'll see that sort of hidden element. You'll see it here on the top of the uniform. 
um, in terms of the shoulders, but you'll also see it, again, it's kind of a hidden element on the side of the pant here. Um, and the other point that I wanted to point out, you can just stay straight, thank you. The other point that I wanted to point out on that is that in terms of a uniform, yes, we know the guys want to look good, but it also has to have a lot of technology in it, again, to allow the players to, to be very successful on the field of play. So instead of that, um, that fabric being screen printed, it's actually sublimated right into the garment. So it creates much more breathability and it's lighter in terms of the uniform. So a great advantage that we've been able to put into and a great um, hidden element that again speaks to the, the historical nature of what Lexington, Kentucky is all about and more importantly the, the attributes that both Secretariat as well as his football team uh, shares. Now I want to talk a little bit about the technology features behind this uniform and there are many. Um, this, as I said, is a Nike Pro Combat uh, uniform, and we call it a system of dress. And a system of dress because this uniform was really designed and developed from the inside out. Um, the piece that you can't see is the underlayer here. Um, this Nike Pro Combat underlayer um, takes a lot of the, of the um, stability and um, the weight away from the uniform. Um, so that these athletes can have much more mobility in terms of when you get to the fourth, to the, to the end of the game, um, much more mobility in terms of carrying the weight that they used to carry in a uniform. So I just want to start up here at the top of the Flywire. Um, Flywire technology um, was first uh, used at Nike in terms of footwear that we created about four years ago. Um, it's actually technology from a suspension bridge. And um, this is really where it all starts here. So you've got fly wire in the neck, which leads to all the, st the stability in terms of the top of the uniform. In speaking to the athletes, which is where we always start when we're designing a uniform, we always listen to the voice of the athlete. It's really important for us to create product that's gonna work for the athlete. So if the athlete tells us, you know, it's too heavy, we can't breathe, it's, it holds in water, what we're trying to do is achieve solutions so that no longer happens within the uniform. So with the technology in terms of this fly wire, it creates a strengthening system for the entire top of this, of this uniform. Um, we've got stretch fabric here, and it creates sort of a lockdown system. Grab points all over the uniform, pads come out. This um, fly wire is, is there to help alleviate that, okay? So it helps from a lockdown system so that that uniform actually stays put. Um, the, the stretch fabric that we have here on all sides of the of the uniform, if you can just keep your arms out here, um, all sides of the uniform. Um, in some cases, it's lightweight for areas that have low impact. In other cases, it's, it's um, heavyweight stretch for areas that have more impact. So this uniform is basically customized to the position that you play in football. Thank you. Um, the next area of innovation in here is the um, zone venting systems. As I said, this is a system of dress that was created from the inside out. So everywhere that you see these um, zoning, these ventilations here in terms of the mesh fabric, and maybe you could just turn a little bit to your left for me um, and turn all the way around. The, the, the zoning here in the mesh um, is in tandem with the base layer that they have underneath. So the ventilation, the cooling system works all the way through into your body, okay? Okay, you can turn all the way around. Um, and the other thing I should mention about the base layer is that it has the Nike Pro Combat padding in it, again, to help with the lightweightness of, of the jersey, which we call the chassis, the uniform chassis. Okay, so in the, the belt here of, of the pants, um, that also has a little bit of padding, again, to help from a stability standpoint. Um, from an impact standpoint, we've got the padding there, high impact area, and then um, on the, the the pant leg, we've taken out the heavy weight ribbing. Um, again, more of a ventilation fabric here and mesh, and then the sublimation, all to take weight away from the uniform. Um, we've got here the ribbed cuff to help from a stability standpoint, making it much more about the durability of the fabric and um, the creation that, that this can help from a mobility standpoint of the athlete. So um, if, if I could just summarize here, uh, Nike Pro Combat Uniform, a uniform that was created in terms of a system um, built from the inside out. It's all about speed. We know that the game of football has changed dramatically. We know that athletes are bigger, we know that they're stronger, and we know that they're faster. So what we're trying to achieve in this uniform is all about speed, speed of the game, and speed by the end of the game where you can still have the mobility and the stability that you need within this system of dress. 
Okay. Um, so as I said, this is this is our newest, latest, and greatest, and uh, we're, we're pretty pleased with it. We we believe that this is a uniform um, that is you know definitely one that we're extremely proud of. So thank you very much, and I'm sure we'll be going into questions and answers. I guess at some now. Thank you.